It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And this week, I got to go back into outer space. I boldly went where no human being has gone before. I got to visit the fantastic world of my most favorite, 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 favorite franchise in the entire universe and multiverse. I got to visit and go see and spend time with Star Trek Discovery. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I've seen Star Trek Discovery once again. And I got to say this, it was absolutely fantastic. So that is what I'm going to get into today. But first, a couple of things. I want to give a big shout out to the UAE. Got some plays over in UAE this past week. Gracias, gratitude, do reba, and UAE. I saw on the news, you guys got tons and tons of rain, like lots of rain. Hope you guys are safe out there. Uh, hope you guys are able to clean all that up. It looked chaotic over there. Hope you guys are all safe. So thanks for listening. I appreciate guys' gratitude. And also, this week's episode is brought to you by the song called 70s Light Rock by the artist named Sun Tzu Cosmic. Rapping in a crazy, unique style like you never heard before. And this is probably his most popular track out of all his tracks. 70s Light Rock. So if you want to hear that, I'll put the link below. Check it out. Now, let's get on the podcast. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this week I saw Star Trek Disco Face the Strange. And ladies and gentlemen, this episode was absolutely magnificent. Because you know what happened? Little bit of time traveling. And if you've been to this podcast before, you know the captain loves time traveling. It's like my most favorite thing in science fiction is time travel. I love time travel. I love the concept of it. And that's what they did this episode. They did a little bit of time traveling. Michael Burnham and her number one, some time traveling. There was this time bug, and this time bug had him travel through time, visiting different eras of, of Michael Berman's life, different times on Discovery. But it's kind of like a flashback show. It's what they do as a flashback show. But they get to see different time periods. And so basically what's happening is they're stuck in these time loops. They're forced to go someplace and spend time there because of this time bug, right? And so yeah, this episode is dope. I love it so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do right now is what I always do. And talk about some things I found interesting in the show. And so in this episode, I was just talking about the time bug. How Michael Burnham and her number one was getting forced to go to different time periods, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of like real life. You're like, Captain, there's no time travel. There's no time bug. What are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, in your mind, have you ever just thought about things you ain't really want to think about? Let's say there's old things in the past just bubbling up. Maybe you had a conversation with a family member. Maybe you had a conversation with a coworker. Maybe you had a text message session with somebody, DMing people, right? Just having conversations. And sometimes when we do this, ideas and thoughts will be triggered in my mind. It'll have us revisit past places, past times, past thoughts, past actions. And then when we visit this, sometimes we might get fixated on that. We might get fixated on that time and place, that space. And it's a loop that's in our mind. We're kind of like Michael Berman and her number one, stuck in the past sometimes. And we can't leave. We're stuck with it, right? We're stuck in the past. And the time loop happens in our mind many times. Or maybe it has to happen to you. But I suspect you're probably a human being. And if you're a human being, I believe this happens to all human beings. You know what I'm talking about? you just been stuck with a thought or a memory or something. You kind of just sit there fixated, stressing about it or whatever, or worried about it or mad or angry or some kind of emotion coming over you. Are we stuck there? And a lot of us, what we'll do to escape the time loop, because we all want to escape the time loop. We want to escape the time loop. Michael Berman and her number one wanted to escape the time loop. So they had to devise a plan to escape it. Her and also Paul Stamets, they had to develop a plan to escape the time loop. And they developed it and they escaped it, right? It took a lot to escape it. What they did to escape the time loop 
is they observe the loop. They observe the time. They scan the loop. They scan the scenario. They scan the look. How can I use what's in the environment to escape the loop? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if your mind gets stuck in a time loop, because you got a time bug and you're stuck in memories and thoughts, how can you escape them? Sometimes you might sit with them for hours. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be fully transparent with you. There's been times when certain thoughts, ideas were stuck in my mind, and I was stuck with them for hours. Let's be real. I'll be real with you. And maybe you experience the same. You're just kind of stuck, uh, ruminating over some kind of situation in the past or thoughts or words, stuck on it, fixated, with no escape. And so what you might do is you might turn the TV on, you might drink some drinks or do smoke some something or do something to escape it or you know, mask it or, you know, uh, hide it, right? Cover it, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not endorsing doing those things. I'm not saying do that. Don't do that. I'm not saying I'm not, I don't support that. I'm not saying do that. Don't do that. But no, some of us might do that. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, I was having a conversation with a young lady today. We're talking, have a conversation, talk about things. And we're talking about, you know, drinking alcohol beverages. And sometimes she was telling me the thoughts get a little bit too much, right? Too much. And so to maybe like uh, dull that too muchness, they might sip a little something, sip a little something, something to kind of just kind of alleviate the stress of the thoughts. Because I'm sure, she didn't say this, but I'm sure the thoughts are maybe going to past times, past places, past words, past phrases. And to escape those past words, phrases, and time and places, and thoughts, a little bit of alcohol beverage down the hatch to kind of just kind of alleviate that or ease the tension, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am not saying to do this. I didn't tell this lady this. You know, she got to live her life and do what she got to do. If it works for her, that's fine. But I'm not endorsing this or supporting this. I don't feel that's the way to do it personally. You know what I mean? I feel there's other methods. And if you do to do that, um, drink responsibly. But I'm, I'm like Nancy Reagan all the time with alcohol. I say, just say no. Because the captain says, just say, no, don't mess with alcohol. But you know, that's one way people like to do that. Or they may smoke or whatever to alleviate the tension. Right? That's one way to do it. But another possible way to remedy when you're stuck in the mental time loop, like Michael Barnum and the number one is stuck in their time loop. You have your own mental time loop in your house, your apartment, or wherever you are in the time loop, stuck, trying to escape it. But I don't want to use the conventional methods that's normally used. I want to use the alcohol, the smoking, or the TV, or the video games, or the comfort eating, whatever, to distract. I'm tired of doing that. I don't want to do it, bro. I want to escape another way. How other way can I escape the time loop? Well, I feel one possible way to escape the time loop is you can observe the time loop. You can look at the thoughts, study them, analyze them. Look deep at them, sit with them, feel them. Feel the emotions, feel the thoughts. Look deep, study. How could I have done differently? How could I have improved? It's like watching game tape. Ladies and gentlemen, I do do this. When I'm stuck in my own time loop, I will sit with it and observe it and look at it. There's a Buddhist monk, I read a lot of his books called Teach Your Hair. And he would say this all the time. He didn't say it how I'm saying it, but he would say when you have these thoughts floating in your mind, don't distract, don't run. Look at them, observe them. Observe, look, watch them, see them, and then watch them dissipate. And if you do this, these thoughts will evaporate and move on, right? No need to turn the TV on. No need to drink a drink, smoke a smoke, distract, distract, whatever it is to distract. No need. Just sit, observe, and sit with. So if you're stuck in your own mental time loop, this is one possible method that may work for you. It works for the captain. Tish not hand said to do it. Read his books. You're going to see it right there. Right? That's one possible way to escape your own mental time loop. So when I was watching Star Trek Discovery this week, I saw Michael Berman and never went stuck in their time loop. I immediately thought of this. Like I've been telling you guys over and over again. I will watch these movies, TV sports and flicks, and certain ideas bubble up when I watch them. Certain concepts, ideas, words just start running through my mind. I start thinking about different things, thinking about different ways of living, different experiences, and this is what comes out. So this week when I saw the wonderful show, Star Trek Discovery, this is what came out. This is what went in my mind. This is what I thought about. This show sparked these ideas, and I feel these ideas will help me live a better life. And I feel if I talk about it on the podcast, it might help you out a little bit too, right? Now, I could be totally wrong with what I'm saying here. It's very possible. It's all wrong. It's all BS. This is just my perspective. Could be wrong. Might not. I don't know. Might work for you. Might not. I don't know. But anyways, why Star Trek Discovery? See what you see. You may watch Star Trek Discovery, and you might see a total different interpretation of these events, of this show, of these ideas, of these words. And you might interpret it a whole different way. And you might see a whole different uh, lesson in the show that I haven't seen. Very possible. I mean, it's highly likely. I feel that good art that we watch, 
and you listen to encounter will let us see multiple viewpoints and perspectives by watching the same art if the art is good the art is really good you can watch it i can watch it, we all can watch it and we see totally different things in this art that is good art and i feel star trek the show discovery all the other shows the old ones the new ones the movies they do that well you can watch the movies watch the shows and you can see so many different things and watch these wonderful pieces of cinematic art. It is absolutely wonderful. I love Star Trek. I said that a million times on here because the show is good. It's entertaining, of course. It's action packed, all that, but also because it sparks my mental thought processes. It gets me to think for one fraction of a second. I thought about things I never would even dream of thinking of. That is the exploration that waits us. Not mapping stars or charting nebulas, but exploring the infinite possibilities of existence so yeah star trek discovery thought provoking tv check it out highly recommend it great episode this week so far the whole season's been great it's the last season unfortunately I'm gonna miss the show but let's enjoy the ride baby so if you've not seen star trek discovery go check it out if you've not seen star trek go check it out the movies the tv shows whatever the comic books the books the video games the world of star trek is the very best franchise in the entire multiverse universe i just told a couple guys that this morning because i believe it to be true that's why it's been around for so long there's a reason it's been around for a long time bro a long time and i just had this conversation with someone this morning a couple guys i was letting them know how awesome it is and maybe they'll watch it i don't know <laughs> so anyways thanks for listening appreciate guys his gratitude and until next time we'll see do not let people put you down believe in yourself and stand for yourself and trust yourself Jacob Newsner. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.